Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be showing you guys how to get this jumbo braid but blinked out, sweetie style. I saw her do this and I just thought it was like the cutest thing and I was like, I had to try it. And everything that I got in total cost me $10 to $15. So I really want to show you guys how I got this look. Um, the little rust on edges and everything. Um, I'm really obsessed with it and I love it. I low key did this at night, so like I'm going to sleep and like, I want to do a photo shoot with it because I think it's so cute. So come on, we're doing a photo shoot if you're watching. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this for really, really cheap, then please keep watching. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed. There is no product in it whatsoever. So, but I did wash it last night. So there's, it's just dry and yeah so i'm gonna take the spray bottle with just water in it i'm gonna just zamp in my hair okay so what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna take this just dense brush i literally found this at dollar tree you can check it out um in the dollar tree video haul and i love these types of brushes but what i'm gonna do i'm kind of gonna brush my hair just like upwards in the way that i want to create the ponytail so that it's easier like when i apply my gel so I've tried this once before. This is my second attempt. So if you see it, it'll be a freaking miracle. <laughs> but I think that what I also messed up on was like not taking enough time to really brush my hair into the position that I want it to eventually be, which is up in this ponytail. So I think that was one mistake that I made. And so yeah, now that I've brushed it up, I want to apply my gel. So for this hairstyle, well, I shouldn't be talking. I'm going to talk as I go because um, I look insane. I'm going to take the Eco Styler gel. I have the olive oil one. I really like the argan oil one as well. But I have the olive oil one right now. And I'm just taking it and slicking my hair up, putting it into the position where I want the ponytail. I feel like this is really going to be key for my ponytail and all the hairs to really stay in that place because I'm kind of training it to go that way, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of keep taking it. Now, obviously, I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't need too much, but I really want the hairs to just like stick and be good to your girl. So next, I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to brush it up, kind of how we were doing before with the water, but now with the added gel. I'm not gonna flag. This is an arm workout. Having short hair and trying to do a ponytail, an arm workout. Okay. So, oh my god, I got it into a ponytail. Y'all, I could not do this last time. Wow. Well, we're one step in. I want to see if this will ruin it, but oh, a little bit. So you know what? We're gonna keep her right here. I kind of would spray my hair with got to be, but I don't know if I want to do that now or after the ponytail on. But I'm gonna find some more hair ties real quick, and, and then we're gonna do this thing. So for the hair today, I have this Rasta Free braiding hair. Um, it's synthetic. It was honestly like 10 bucks for pack. There's two more packs of these, so it came in three. I really like it. So yeah, hopefully the hair is decent. So I'm gonna make this into a ponytail. So I'm gonna take the ponytail, the hair tie. I'm gonna put it on like this and then flip it over and kind of create like that. So I can just attach it to my little, to this onion, and then have a little ponytail. Wait, did my dumbass really just figure this out? Hold on. If my dumbass can do this, I promise you, you can. Like, okay. What do I want to do next? Okay, I'm not gonna flap this hair does shed. So I normally do this part after, but I'm gonna attempt to try it beforehand to see what that does for me in this situation. 
actually okay so what I did to kind of cover it, I just kind of flipped it <laughs> and did like that so I'm gonna keep it like that but I'm gonna put it to the side now oh my god maybe I just don't know how to work with hair sweetie okay that's it that's all I'm gonna pull out oh wow my hair is coming out so we're gonna fix that I'm gonna try and fix that so now we're just gonna braid this so I'm gonna put it into three sections and then braid it all the way down hair came with like a little rubber band on the bottom and I kind of want to use that to secure the bottom just because I can't find another hair tie and I figured it'd be useful okay we have our braid I want to work on getting this a bit more snatched over here so I think what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna take some got to be glued gel and I'm gonna put it on that section I don't want to put it throughout my whole head but I think that that's gonna help it kind of stick down a bit more I'm just kind of putting it on places where I feel it could you know potentially come out of the ponytail or just not look the best and then of course if that still doesn't work there are always um whatchamacallit bobby pins so I like how this is looking especially how um in the when I started I wrapped a piece around my small little ponytail that I had on my head, especially because it's the same color as my hair, it doesn't look too insane. I wanna make the braid a bit thicker, or bigger. So I'm gonna kind of pull on the braids to make it appear bigger and such and so forth. So, now of course you could do this by also um, when you're braiding, add another pack of the hair, but I was just trying it out and I'm freaking loving it though. I'm catching the sweetie vibes, like hello. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Oh my God, this is actually turning out good. I didn't even think I was gonna be able to get it on my head. Okay, I wanna like brush the ends a bit just to make sure they don't look too eh. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna we're gonna do the edges. So I'm gonna put her like this right now. It probably looks insane, but okay. Oh my god, like wait, I actually did it, y'all. What the freak? Okay, so I'm gonna take this edge brush that I also got from Amazon and also my eco styler that I got from Amazon. And I'm gonna just I like to take what's on the cap and I like to take the big brush side and I like to create my swoops like that with this brush and then I'll go in with the bottom comb part to kind of intensify it a bit. Now I never do edges like too intense, but I wanna like attempt to for this because I really wanna like have like that swoopy look to add the rhinestones. But if not, it's fine. I feel like I'll be able to like create the effect with the rhinestones. Oh, wait, I actually like how that kind of looks in person. I'm gonna just take my baby hairs here with a little bit of gel and kind of stick it on my face and then kind of try and swoop it a little like that. Just a little bit, nothing insane because I don't know how to do that. Okay, so now we're bringing it over here. And we're doing the same. I also sometimes when I'm just doing ponytails in general or just want like a slick look on my hair, I do like to go in with the edge brush and just kind of push everything back. So now I want to do my makeup. Should I show you how I do my makeup or should I just do it off camera? I'm going to do my makeup off camera and then we're going to come back and do the glamorous, fun, like rhinestone part. So 
I'll be back looking full glam. I'm back with makeup on. I just wanted to share also that I'm taking like the small end of a comb or just the end of a comb and I'm kind of brushing out the um, bottom so it's not as poofy. And there she is. So I was inspired by Saweetie to do this because I saw in her Apple Music like her head or cover photo or whatever. And she had like rhinestones around her edges and I was like, wow, cute, wanna try. She had it going down all here. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna see. But I have these rhinestones, these are from Amazon. They have different sizes and such and I think, I, I like that. I, you could go from like small, medium, large, whatever. And then I also got these hair clips kind of, or hair pins that have like, um, rhinestones on the top I don't know if you can see it but it kind of pins in and I wanted to put that along the bottom of the ponytail but I don't know I'm, I'm still like playing with it and teasing it and like bringing it out more as well but I think I'm gonna do that at the end so I think I'm gonna go in and do the edges now this might be difficult I can't find my tweezers and I kind of want to use like my hands to try and do it but if that doesn't work out, then we're gonna have to obviously try other methods, but these are what they look like. They have the self-adhesive sticker, so I'm happy for that. So I'm gonna start from the middle and take like a really small one. I'm gonna kind of have it like stick on the back of my hand and then just like place it. So I'm gonna be doing it in like swoops down, hopefully. My dumbass does it. And honestly, if the rhinestones are like different sizes, I don't really mind. I think it would still be kind of cute. Oh, this sucks because I'm going to take it off afterwards. Where? How, how am I going to even take these off? It took 15 rhinestones to do, but um, I don't mind it. That's so cool, what the hell? I wish I had photos to do, but I don't. So I'm gonna go off camera and finish off like the other side, I guess. I mean, I don't know, I'll show y'all guys a little bit of So this is the finished braid. Let me turn down the thing. So I really like it. Um, I like how I was able to work with this hair. I also did make the end a little bit um, shorter just because I didn't like the fact that it was so long. But I added in the hair pins. I did my makeup, got the edges, and um, I'm living for it. So I really like this. I kind of wish I didn't do it at night. But that's fine. But um, kind of helpful. Arm, um, not the best when it comes to hair and such. So, but I hope it was helpful. This was such a dope look. I think to do. Like I, I just really um, I like it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Um, and yeah, y'all could be cute and pop and be a little icy girl for the low. So. Yeah, um, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!